We now have Dr. Beck with West Tech's Urgent Care live in our studio. And today we're going to talk about heart health. Dr. Beck, thanks so much for being here. Thank you. And so there's a lot that we could talk about in regards yeah. to this topic. Um, but I kind of want to start off with heart disease. Yes. Um, I have heart disease in my mom's side of the family. And yeah. so um, I'm kind of making sure that I get checkups regularly and make okay. sure that my cholesterol is getting checked and that my levels are all normal. Um, but how likely is it that if you do have heart disease in your family that you could actually end up getting heart disease as you get older? Yeah, uh, a family history is a significant risk factor for having underlying heart disease. And when we talk about heart disease, um, I'm not a cardiologist, I wanna make sure we, we understand that. Mm -hmm. But I mean, it's part of general medical training, we all get uh, information and training right, right. on the heart. Uh, but uh, the heart disease, the spectrum can vary from heart attacks, which is where there is a blockage in an artery to an area of the heart causing a, a heart attack. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's the one that most people are familiar with. But uh, high blood pressure is also considered heart disease and congestive heart failure. And there's a lot of other things that can be considered in the spectrum of heart disease. But you know what you're referring to mostly is, mm -hmm. is uh, blocked arteries in the heart or someone that develops a heart attack. Uh, there are a lot of things that we can control as far as risk factors. And okay. when I'm evaluating someone with chest pain or potentially uh, having a heart-related condition, we look at a lot of different factors. We look at their risk factors, and you would mm -hmm. mentioned cholesterol. Somebody with an elevated cholesterol, that is definitely a risk factor uh, potentially for heart disease. Right. Uh, elevated blood pressure, diabetes, uh, family history. Those are things you know you can control a lot of times. At least you can get control of things like diabetes and obesity and your cholesterol, but right. you can't control your family history. So that's one of those risk factors that unfortunately you're born with and either you have you know good genes or not so good genes, so right, to speak. Right. Uh, but it's definitely a, a, a significant concern and risk factor for people for heart disease. And so what about people in their diets? Um, how can people make sure that they're eating better and um, preventing heart disease through just their daily lifestyles? Yes. Uh, so we know that people who are overweight tend to have problems, more problems with their lipids or their cholesterol. Mm -hmm. um, and so it's important to get that checked. And the only way to really get that checked is with a blood test. Okay. And if the cholesterol is high, uh, it should possibly be treated with medication or diet restrictions or dietary uh, changes to help lower the cholesterol because a lot of people can control that as a risk factor with diet alone. Some mm -hmm. people need medication, especially if they've already had or if they've had a heart attack or other heart conditions, they may need to be on medicine even if their cholesterol is, is just borderline. Right. And what about more specifics in regards to diet. Like, what are some heart healthy foods that people can maybe start eating now? Well, fruits and vegetables always. Mm -hmm. um, you know, our uh, you know red meats tend to be higher in saturated fats. Mm -hmm. um, so I love those ribeyes, though. <laughs> oh. Yeah. My guilty pleasure. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, red meats tend to be uh, higher in saturated fats, and and in your your it can contribute to to elevated cholesterol. But it's not just red meats. There's plenty of other things uh, out there that can contribute to fats. Lots of uh, dairy items and and sugar and, and creams and things like that. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, that most of us do like to uh, enjoy every now and then. Uh, but but it's that's important. the key word there. Every now and then, yeah. you know, you, you want to have everything in moderation when it comes to exactly. food items like that. Well, yeah. thank you so much for being in our studio. Thank today, you. Dr. Beck, but now I'm going to send things back over to our Chief Meteorologist, Chase Menendez, for another look at that forecast.